So I actually don't think of any one person. I think of a group of people, and uh, it's the people that I currently work with. Um, so I currently work for the city and county of Denver in the Department of Safety, and our office oversees about 4,500 employees, most of whom are uh, first responders, so police officers, firefighters, Denver sheriff deputies, and then 911 call takers. And we also have a lot of elected officials in my office and the city in general. Um, those folks, those folks who are out there constantly working hard to protect our city are the folks I look to for mental toughness nowadays since I've moved on from the military. And it doesn't matter whether you're a city council member staying up late at meetings where you're trying to bring divisions together in your community you're getting yelled at across the aisle. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a city council member, elected leader, or you're a police officer, and you're walking up to a car, you know, to do a traffic stop, and you don't know what you're gonna face. You never really know what's what's gonna be there the next day when you put your uniform on. Um, but to me, working with them over the last two and a half years and going on ride-alongs with them and seeing things from their perspective, to me that takes tenacity grit, determination, whether they're in a uniform or not, because they're doing something that's really hard to do. And they're constantly under the microscope. Um, the media constantly dogs on some of our first responders. Um, whether, whether it's fair or not, um, constantly dogs on them. And so they have to face that pressure every single day. And they know that when they wake up and they put that uniform and badge on, similar to the military, they've already committed themselves to the ultimate sacrifice. And I respect that, I, I look up to that now as a lesson of mental toughness. Because <laughs> it's that's a challenging occupation. It's, it's every single day, there's always some new thing that comes about. It's always a wild card out there. It's always a wild card, and there's always an expectation that whatever you think of law enforcement or a fire service or whatever, when you need them to help you, they'll be there. Yeah. They'll be there no matter what you've done in the past. Yeah. And I think that that means a lot. And people often forget about that.